Nearly five years ago, an alligator attacked and killed a toddler who was visiting Walt Disney World. Since that horrific day, Disney and state officials have taken measures to reduce potentially dangerous wildlife encounters. That includes removing alligators from the resort. News 6 investigator Mike DeForest is looking into the latest numbers. And Mike, Disney has continued to remove alligators during the pandemic. At least even when Walt Disney World's parks and hotels were shut down because of COVID-19, we discovered the trappers were capturing alligators in near record numbers. June 14th will mark a tragic milestone at Walt Disney World. In 2016, two-year-old Lane Graves was building sandcastles on the beach at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort when an alligator lunged out of the lagoon and dragged him underwater. Five years later, he and his family are still being remembered. You assume it's safe, and I'm sure those people did too, and, you know, they lost their child. Mike Norton recalls playing with his own child on that beach many years ago. We'd been at that place and our son was only about seven or eight and he walked out knee deep. We had no idea. After Graves' death, Disney immediately began constructing fences around many bodies of water and put up signs warning of dangerous wildlife. The company also drastically increased its efforts to remove nuisanced alligators from the resort. News 6 has obtained records from the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission detailing alligators legally captured at Walt Disney World. Between 2007 and 2015, trappers removed an average of 23 alligators each year from Disney property. In 2016, the year of the deadly attack, the number of captured alligators spiked to 83. The following year, 57. In 2018 and 2019, a little more than 30 alligators were caught. Then, in 2020, the number increased to 46. News 6 has learned that nearly half of the alligators captured last year were removed between mid-March and mid-July, when the COVID-19 pandemic forced Disney to close its doors and visitors were nowhere around. All right, coming up. A few reptiles caught under Florida's nuisance alligator program wind up in zoos, but most are euthanized with their meat and hide used to compensate the trappers. As sad as that event that happened is, I don't feel like it was any fault of the alligator. Some Disney visitors would prefer Florida wildlife officials to move the animals elsewhere. If they can relocate them, they absolutely should. But FWC says it's impractical to do that, since the alligators often try to return to their capture site and moving them to remote locations would likely result in fighting with the existing alligator population. I understand why they're hunting them or killing them. I, I get it, because it's, it's about a business and you have to keep your patrons safe. Disney World officials say the company has a strong commitment to safety and it works closely with FWC to remove or relocate certain wildlife in accordance with state regulations. Mm -hmm. Matt and Lisa.